All right, thank you for joining me for another session in Power App Solutions in Minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and build out a Canvas app here today, and we're gonna leverage the patch function uh, to be a little crafty, and also um, just so you can see how powerful this tool is. So we have this Canvas app, and what we're doing here is we've created a gallery. This gallery, we're gonna point it at the context uh, table. And then from there, what we're gonna do is just make some little changes in terms of what's exposed on these little cards in the gallery. We'll probably resize it a little bit so we can see a little bit more. But essentially, this is a list of contacts that we have in our database, right? So uh, let's go ahead and add a label because we're going to be capturing some um, field information. Uh, it's not fields directly from the database. These are fields that we're going to capture locally inside of this app's um, cloud-hosted ecosystem, which is Dataverse. And then we're going to pass that information um, as updates or patches uh, to the record uh, of our choosing. And in a later video, I'll show you something really, really cool where you can actually patch uh, all records in a, in a gallery all at once. Um, so it's actually really cool. So what I'm doing here is I'm just building out some labels. Um, I'm leveraging the copy and paste functionality that's available to us. Thank you, Microsoft. And then once I have my labels built, then I'm going to try to put them in some sort of order that makes sense to me for now. Really, this is just illustrative purposes for, for y'all to see what you can and cannot do. Um, and we'll kind of take it from there. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add some inputs. So I'm going to add some text inputs. And then I'll make a copy of that one and add another text input for the middle name. Same thing for the last name. Nothing particularly special about what we're doing or remarkable. Just kind of setting this up. And the cool thing about making these copies is that I know the the name of each text input is going to be just incremented by one every single time. So I can easily track as I'm editing and writing the code within the app to patch, um, you know, be able to know exactly which text input I need to deal with. So here's a button. I've grabbed a button. I've put it on the page. I'll just call it, you know, patch all for now, I guess. Patch all for selected records. Okay. Sounds good. So just a big button doesn't do anything right now. Uh, the next thing I'm probably going to do is make some quick aesthetic improvements. And that is I'm going to uh, take the text that's inside of these uh, text inputs. And I'm going to move it into the hint text on the right pane there. So I'll just control X, control V in there, control X, control V in the next one, and so on. So that it's... It's not literal text that's inside, it's blank when you're entering data into it. It's just a hint text to let you know, you know, what you're entering into the data field. Now keep in mind, once again, these data fields have absolutely nothing to do with existing data. We're, we're capturing some new data. So now we're going to use the patch function. The patch function takes a source, uh, in this case a collection, and we'll use the contacts. It takes a uh, actual record. In this case, we'll use uh, our gallery and whatever record we selected. And then its third parameter is the actual update that we're making, which is uh, very much set up in a, in a JSON-like uh, format. So what we're doing here is we're choosing that first name field um, from the actual Dataverse um, inside this JSON that we're going to pass out. 
and then we're also associating that value to the value of text input one dot text then we're doing the same thing with middle name as you can see the next text input is just called text input one underscore one dot text so we're just grabbing these values taking whatever's there and by the time we're done we're going to pass them all in and we have to be careful with our syntax because if we miss it um, we'll have some some errors pop up so you can see right now that <laughs> the code isn't particularly quite happy yet so what might be missing well in this case um, I haven't quite finished up adding the business phone uh, and then I know that I probably need to add a ending uh, parentheses after I've defined which input is going to feed into the business phone so there's the that input it's feeding in and now I'm gonna close it out it looks good to me at face value so let's play the app so I'm gonna put in a first name a middle name last name some sort of email address and just a business phone because I don't actually have a business phone on my um, record so then I'll click the button and very very quickly for that selected record I now have data and you can see the business phone is blank here in this in this common data service or dataverse power apps environment and now it has data and it's updated the data exactly based on what I did so now I'm gonna take a stab again at doing something so let's go ahead and tinker with uh, Yvonne so I selected her record by just clicking uh, over on the left pane there for Yvonne and I'm just gonna make some changes here and let's see if they reflect patch it and then boom here we have it 